Hey y'all, I'm Naomi with Ninos in Nature and I wanted to take time to talk to you today about the big question, right? I always say, raise bilingual kids. Raising bilingual kids is so awesome and so many of you are like, but how do we do it? So I hear all of that. I hear those questions. I hear those worries. So I wanted to tell you about the four main ways that families raise bilingual children. Okay, so one of the main ways that families can raise bilingual children is the minority language at home. It's also called M-L-A-H or MLA as I like to call it. No one else calls it that though. Um, and that is basically where you have one or both or more of the grown-ups in your family. They speak the language fluently. So let's say I speak Spanish fluently and this isn't the case, but if my husband spoke Spanish fluently and we both decided, hey, we're gonna commit to this, we're gonna do it, we're only gonna speak Spanish at home, right? So we would raise our children only speaking in the minority language. Why is it called the minority language? Because we live in the United States where the dominant language in our community is English. So we speak the minority language at home, our children are raised with that as their first language and that's what they're exposed to the most. So that's one of the first methods, minority language at home. Another way of raising bilingual kids is called one parent, one language, O-P-O-L. Opal, Opal. No one calls it that, don't call it that. Um, one parent, one language. And families who do that, it is where you have, obviously you have two grownups, right? It doesn't have to necessarily be a parent. It could be any caregiver that is there consistently. One speaks in one language, the other speaks in the other language. So that your children or your child, they're being exposed to two languages equally, right? We're assuming that it's an equal input at the exact same time with the idea that they're learning one language side by side with the other. Now, this is a great way if you really want to make sure that they learn the dominant communal language that's being spoken outside of your home, as well as the minority language at the same time. Another method for raising bilingual kids is called time and place. And that is the idea that in a specific time or with certain people or in a certain day, that is when you are speaking in another language. Now that can look like your child going to a specific school, right? Like a Spanish immersion school. That can look like you only speak Spanish on Tuesdays when you have snack, or you only speak in this language when you go and visit this family member who speaks the language as well. And the fourth and last strategy that a lot of families do, and it's the one that I do at home, is called language mixing. Language mixing is basically the idea that you are throwing in that second language as much as you can, right? Or third or fourth whatever you're doing. So that's the idea that I can't commit to speaking 100% in Spanish with my kiddos, but I could do about 75%. So I'll speak in Spanish throughout the day as much as I can. We'll sing songs while I'm cooking. I'll do books in Spanglish. I throw it in as much as I can. And if I ever need to do English, I do English. So I love language mixing because if you speak another language, it's really just like letting your heart guide you, right? Like what language can I speak right now? This is what I'm going with. Of course, there are pros and cons for all of these methods. Of course, you're like, well, what are the benefits of each one? How do I do this? Don't worry. I made a free quiz for you all to help you find your ideal bilingual parenting method. So you can answer a series of seven questions and get straight to your email personalized results with tips, strategies, lots of resources so that you can feel really informed and confident when you're choosing how to raise bilingual kids. If you want to take the free quiz, it only takes a minute or two. There's a link in the description of this YouTube video so that you can take the quiz and find out what is the best way for you to raise bilingual kids and how do you do it because you don't need to do it alone. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all of the things so that we can stay in touch and I can help you on your journey towards raising bilingual children.